Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. I know it's been a while. Um, it's been longer than I intended, and I always say that when it comes to Caves of Cud, but it, it is always longer than, in, than I intend. I, I don't intend to take huge lo breaks on Cud, but like things happen, games come out that I want to cover, and and the longer you wait, the, the you know, it's, it's just a little bit harder <clears throat> to, to pick up the pieces. So where am I right now? Um, I actually had to watch the previous uh, episode a little bit. You've run out of... Oh, what? You've run out of water. I don't think that's true. <clears throat> I think I am a little bit... My water is all gone. What's happening? What's happening? I did install a mod and it might have uh, ruined things just very slightly. But I did have water a moment ago, so that's a little bit odd. Um, let's go back to our... No, let's go back to the uh, Icker Merchant and then buy some water. You might notice that we have lots of different um, music now. That is because I have installed the, uh, the mod that adds 300 new soundtracks. And it's, it's fantastic. I really appreciate this mod. All right. Sonic flaw, Flawless Crystal Warhammer. Apparent, yeah, this would have been really nice, but uh, I think the psionic weapons, they do eventually disappear. So this was not uh, worthwhile. Let's just um, maybe sell one of our Neutron Flux. I noticed we had like a ton of Neutron Flux and I am not really going to dabble in that. We could, it, just for fun. I mean, I, I don't think there's any achievement for doing so. That's way too much water, actually. Uh, I just need a little bit of water. Um, man, I have. It has been a while. It's been a minute. No, I don't want... Uh, sorry, I don't want 643 drams, please. Oh, the freaking Elon Musk of K of Cud. He's going to buy Jopa and then dismantle it piece by piece. Great. Um, all right. So we have water now. Let's see if that bug occurs again. I hope not. Desiccated. Well, it shouldn't be desiccated. I, I should be okay now. Uh... Why am I dropping water? I'm dropping water like no one's business. Do I have like a hole in my water skin? That's a really strange bug. Hmm. Very strange. I'm like not... Okay, maybe I ought to... Give me a second here. Okay, I unfortunately had to turn off the soundtrack because apparently it was creating a real problem for me. And now that problem seems to have rectified itself. So that's a dang shame. I really, I was really looking forward to that. 300 new soundtracks to this game would have just like, oh, that would have been so nice. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I have an achievement in mind for us to collect today. It's going to be a fairly easy one, I think. I, it, it's surprising to me that I haven't done it yet. We're going to get lost, though, first of all. Just go ahead and destroy everything. Bloodstained neck ring, sure. No, nah, we don't need that. Just going to hold down the melee button. Okay, we're good. Uh, we'll do a good old... Corrupt object humanoid. Apparently I am corrupt. I have become corrupted and must be saved. Go into my room and destroy all of my objects uh, that I love. Yeah, maybe not great things are happening. It's been a little while since I played Cud. And I'm sure that there have been a few updates. I know that there have been improvements made to uh, make Cud a little bit more stable when it comes to 
certain, um, you know, save compatibility, but, you know, problems are going to happen. They're going to happen. Corrupt object. I just like looking at the top left corner. Corrupt object. Very Caves of Cud statement, nonetheless. Are we still lost? So what I want to do today, it's a really fun kind of achievement and an easy enough one to obtain is we're going to go to the swamp and we're going to explore it almost completely. Um, the reason being is there is a uh, special glow pad in the uh, in the swamp. I, I'm, you know, I, I make it I make it a business to spoil all of the good things in CUD for myself. And I did happen to spoil for myself a uh, the achievement. There's a there's a rare glow pad. It really is basically a shiny. It's a shiny the shiny Pokemon of uh, of Caves of Cud. And uh, if you find it and you talk to it, then you get the achievement. And it's that easy. And there's a not there's there's you know there's not very much swamp to speak of like it's not a huge ask to explore it at all it's probably the smallest biome in the entire uh world of cud so um exploring it fully to to find a uh, a friend is you know it's not a not a huge ask to get an achievement probably be the uh the scope of today's episode all right so what we're going to do is we're going to do this uh, methodically. I'm going to start with the bottom left most parasang and work our way sideways and up. So we'll enter here and we'll go to the bottom left uh, corner of this parasang. You're famished. That's fine. It would be really funny is if we found the... Uh, the glow pad like right away that would be really good wouldn't it it's in the very corner of the entire world well that's a legendary uh snapjaw we could definitely do something there loved by snapjaws of course just like by barathromites just like by the merchants guild well we can definitely make um short work of this why why is uh Lay's not working? My 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 button is not working. Hmm. Why is that the case? Uh that's terrible. I I would hate to have to redo all of my shortcut keys. F3. Yes. No, it's just like straight up not working. Okay, well, let's just shoot them with our gun, then. Where'd they go? I know people were telling me that the electrical discharge gun is one of the best ones in the game, and it would 100% be worthwhile to use it, uh, and I do plan on using it. I maybe just don't plan on using the ones that I have, if that makes sense. Um, let, let's see, which what are the ones I'm currently using? I'm using a jacked masterwork scoped spacer pistol. I do like the spacer pistol, but we have a jacked painted phase harmonic high voltage arc winder. Um, that's a high voltage one. Okay, so that would be the that would be the good one. I, I think what I didn't want to use is I have another missile weapon, which is an arc winder, which is the gun of the pistachio electrician. And the thing is, is the gun of the pistachio electrician is a high voltage um, arc winder. And it gives us some benefit. It, it is scoped. It gives us some reputation. It gives us some electrical generation as well, which would actually be kind of nice, but we can't act, uh, add jacked to it. And so we would have to do uh, power um, management, and I just don't want to. And I, I think I explained myself pretty well about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm good. I'm good on uh, that. I don't want to have to do power management. So what I should do is at some point, maybe with a metamorphic polygel, uh, duplicate our current um, actually good jacked arc winder. 
and um yeah make that make that our second weapon and then we'll be dual wielding arc winders wouldn't that be fun we have a legendary ape let's look at our ape here just like the urchins admired by succulents hated by the villagers of makish okay well that that sucks but we'll, we'll make friends with them we'll uh, f we'll make friends with um apes give them some stuff some secrets they would teach me conk share a, why don't you share a secret with me shares the location of the lair of aborokoru the ape god now i do have to um make friends with aborokoru the ape god i i'm not sure i believe the location of aborokoru is a holy place and i'm not sure if i'm welcome in um their holy places you are welcome in their holy places okay um maybe i i i, I, do, I don't know maybe if a borokoru is super friendly um and just in general he might uh or they i'm not sure um might be or she i suppose uh might be very unfriendly i mean if you were an ape god and you're just stronger than all other ape you know ape come to you be like ape together strong and then you're like, no. Aborokoru need no other ape. Aborokoru strongest ape. Then uh, you'd be like, nah. Um, shoot. You know? <laughs> Oops. And uh, apes, apes are far from friendly, I think. Hated by water barons. Disliked by the cult of the cold lamb. Disliked by the children of Mamon. Is liked by the children of Mamon. Wait. Loved by the Barathrum. I think we all... Did we share a dram with this lad? We did not. So we have even more reputation with the Barathrumites. Yeah, why don't you share a secret with me? This is... You know, I should start dabbling more in secrets. Teach me to craft ergo chairs. Oh, man. I wish I had this in real life. Would you teach me your ways in tinkering? Uh, no, give me a secret. Esteemed Barathmite lecturer shares the location of Lead Hannah Mirror. That sounds good. Give me another secret. Shares the location of some forgotten ruins. Lead Hannah Mirror. I, I, I feel like that's going to be specifically important. Um, where would artifacts? House isn't it? Well, it's not an artifact. Which is a, just a darn shame. Um, where is Lead? Is it Lead Habener not a historic site? Okay, okay. Ruin, maybe? Oh, there's a, there's a, okay, yeah. Lead Habener, uh, Hanamer is a, uh, ruin. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. We are looking for a glow pad. Oh, you know, it just occurred to me. There's a chance that the glow pad could be dead. If I like explored all of the swamp and there was no glow pad and I just had to come to the conclusion that they died, that would be awful. So we found a layer. I don't know what kind of layer this is, but they undoubtedly have a legendary in them. We have kind of slimy glow, glow pads. Is this a lair? Slime drenched cadmium. Oh, it's not. A, it's not a lair. It's a ruin. I'm hoping that if I use the auto explore, the um, this the shiny glow pad may be a um, a object of interest. A place of interest and so therefore we we don't have to like worry about spotting it I, I am looking don't worry but you know I I, I don't want to have to worry about missing it okay no glow pads by the way if you're interested um, 
the the glow pad i believe is cyan it's like it's a, a blue so i am i'm looking for a specifically colored glow pad What we can do is we can do like a quick run through the zone and then also do like a auto explore. So long as there's nothing like blocking our light, we should be okay in that regard. If there's a bunch of reeds like there are, is in this zone, then I'm going to have to do an auto explore and we're going to have to hang out and talk about something. I don't know. Current events. Hey, what do you think about Twitter? Yes, that is currently the, uh, that, that is dating this episode now. Twitter. Um, not sure how far along I, I am here. I'm starting to feel like maybe I underestimated the scope of this achievement. Maybe it was uh, a little bit more uh, ambitious than I had initially thought. I'll just go ahead and explore every single zone in the swamp. It's fine. Okay, I believe we are now in the hills. Yeah, Desert Canyon. So now we have to go back and we're going to sweep in the other direction. I did want to do a Caves of Code run where I, like, explore every single Parasang in the game or something like that. Uh, I really don't think I want to do that, given it any thought at all. Uh, I think that that would be very foolish and uh, not, not very interesting to watch also. Is there something... Okay, that's just a slimy glow pad. I actually think for, um, for exploring... Um, just kind of like sweeping the zone is a little bit faster than auto exploring. It's a rare glow pad. It's actually just bloody. Actually, I think that those might be cutified glow, um, glowfish. Yeah, kudzu symbiote. So we're, we're, we're finding kudzu symbiote uh, glowfish. Very interesting stuff, I know. Compelling, even. I'm surprised that my character is not, like, running for the trash. Do I not have trash divining? I thought I did. Uh, I don't have trash divining? Oh my god. Well, we need that right away. Wait a minute. What? Yo, were my skills reset? Oh, no. <laughs> my skills were reset. Oh, this game is completely destroyed. Uh, yeah. That might, uh, that might call for a hard reset. Okay, well... There's a couple of things I want to do on this run before I call it for this character because the character's relevancy has, I think, seen the, you know, we, we've seen the limits of what this character's full potential is. Um, I kind of destroyed them with Brain Brine, which, you know, no regrets on that at all. Um, I was going to have to destroy some kind of uh character with that and we got a flattened remains i believe that is gonna have mechanical wings on it steel warhammer wire strand oh maybe not okay um so what i want to do is i still want to get the have 30 clones of yourself um on a single pay uh screen what i'm gonna do there is i'm ba i'm just gonna continue going to the icker merchants and instead of cloning them, I'm just going to buy, you know, cloning juice and we'll wait it out. And I'm just going to buy like 20 or so um, drams of cloning juice. And then we're going to drink all of that on a single screen and clone ourselves like 20 times. 
and then use temporal fugue to kind of fill in the gaps that is if i still have temporal fugue do we still have i don't oh okay I, I still have temporal fugue good to know i still have temporal fugue thank goodness honestly uh, that looks like uh yeah i was gonna say there's gonna be another legendary um ape over here What are they? What, what is your... Oh, disliked by unshelled reptiles. Loved by apes, though. Well, that's kind of nice. Um, it looks like that ape also has some kind of spinnerets mutation. Or famished. Okay, well. Kind of, I'm honestly kind of comfortable being famished for now. We're not doing anything dangerous. And I, I don't want to have to deal with food for a little bit. Just like in real life, you know? You ever have a day where you're just like, I don't really want to deal right now. Okay. We're, we're moving through at a good clip and I'm doing a, I'm a again, I'm hoping <clears throat> that that special glow pad is going to be a object of interest. We have another Barathermite robot. Uh, loved by Barathermite. Hated by the villagers of Makish. We're, again, villagers of Makish. Not like, for some reason, all of these robots are like super not cool as the villagers of Makish. I don't know. Um, why don't you share a secret with me? The location of the steel Alakar. Alarkak. Uh, share another secret with me. Location of Deva. Share another secret with me. Location of some forgotten ruins. Okay, that's all you have for me. Okay. I'm I'm kind of upset this run has been destroyed. Whoa. This is quite the uh, screen. Again, I'm really concerned that... Um, the glow pad is is going to be like dead. Did an auto explore. This is a remember in the very beginning when I started recording Caves of Cud and I was like, you know, there's going to be occasions where nothing interesting happens and I do a time lapse. Remember that I used to do time lapses. Why don't I do time lapses anymore? Well, I don't know. I got enough, had enough people saying that they are interested in the stuff that happens in between that it just didn't feel worth it. It's very rare when I'm doing an, a mundane activity that kind of um, justifies shorting, shortening any of the Caves of Cud content. I just realized we are now running into the end of the episode. I wanted to find this glow pad by the end of the episode, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So why don't, I guess this is going to be multi-part. Oh man. All right. So why don't we just like, uh, we'll, we'll do the rest of the, the bottom pair saying. So this is like now the top, um, top angle or top layer of these bottom pair sayings. We'll go back and um, I'm gonna continue looking. I really hope that I haven't missed it. Wouldn't that be the worst? I was just, you know, I was hoping I'd get super lucky and find it like right away. Oh, you know what? I, did, I never thought of it, but um, I wonder, is it possible for it to appear underground? That would be awful. I'd, I'd basically never find it. We're not doing the uh, legendary croc. I guess we could do the legendary croc, but I don't really want to. I've, I've had enough croc adventures for a lifetime. For real, this um, this series, and I mean, I you know, it's been a it's been a couple weeks now that I haven't played, but I still remember the trauma, actual trauma of Sultan Crocs. Just for days. Like, so many Sultan Crocs. Absolutely just endless. 
and and as is my revile towards a sultan croc i just don't want to see another croc for the rest of my days okay um where is i i, I feel like we sh we must be getting pretty close to the end of this bottom parasang I'm looking, I'm scanning. We're getting pretty lucky with some of these tiles, these zones. Not seeing, the, you know, the reeds are the worst, especially when there's enemies in them, like the, like, you know, because then we got to stop and kill, you know, everything. Otherwise, they're just going to slow us down forever. Really hope some jerk Snapjaw hasn't killed our shiny glow pad. Must be said, some of these achievements are kind of tedious. In a good way. I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm glad they're here. The, the shiny glow pad is something special that should be difficult to find for sure. It, there's only the one. You're guaranteed a spawn, but in a way that's worse th th than just, like, making it a rare find. <clears throat> because, like, if it was a rare find, you would have a chance of finding it, like, every single tile. So you could get really lucky. You know, it's like, a you know, the pink sheep in Minecraft. I feel like there are people who don't know about that. Some people have never seen the pink sheep. I say the pink sheep, but it's just a pink sheep um for those of you don't, that don't know there's always a chance when a sheep spawns that it will be pink that's it nothing nothing any more interesting than that yes i am filled with uh, minecraft trivia aren't i i've seen the pink sheep uh, a, a number of times a few times i mean i've also um met people that didn't know that you could uh mix colors like mix wools by breeding sheep of different colors. So like if you bred a um, a red sheep with a blue sheep, you'd get a purple sheep. I'm pretty sure that is true. I don't think it's a guarantee, by the way. It, it could just be like a, a rare chance. So maybe you'll get a red sheep or a blue sheep. Oh, th these rust bugs tend to be very good. But, no, you know, not like it matters to us. We have so many things. Well, I mean, that's pretty nice. Military artifact, or sorry, weird artifact. We've never... Helping hands. I'm pretty sure that would help us with an achievement. Um... Yeah, let's, let's equip those. You're carrying too much. I mean, that makes sense carrying way too much i might just like disassemble some of that stuff um artifacts engraved pistol scoped laser pistol okay well we can um did we look at this we did apparently uh oh and we don't have disassemble anymore because this this run is completely ruined flaming amber tipped staff well we can drop that um, tools. Let's drop the hover sled. The hover sled always ends up being more weight than is worth. I guess I draw, I, I unequipped our, um, I, un, un, I un, unequipped our, um, nylon body pack. So that's why we're so over encumbered right now. So there's not really much point in, um, trying to do inventory management well what i want to do is get the achievement for having i think it's eight limbs give me a second here oh uh, apparently i had already gotten that, that achievement which i guess that makes sense it's not like i i haven't ever had um helping hands before um still you know a little, little disappointing what do we got in here examine precinct navigator that's actually really good can we equip that? Yes, we can. What is this? Structural scanning bracelet. I feel like we have gotten some of this stuff before. 
Oof, that was a loud sound. Rust bogs are like for real some of the best zones in the game. They tend to have very high tier goods. And uh, I'm I'm very grateful to have found some of the stuff. Although the, the helping hands, I mean, they're cool and uh, I wouldn't mind using them. I don't know if Akimbo works with the other two hands. I should check that out. But I guess I don't have guns Akimbo anymore. <laughs> I don't have guns Akimbo anymore. This, uh, this run, I can't believe how this happened. I might just like give myself a bunch of skill points and then... If you wield multiple guns, you fire a shot with each of them whenever you make a ranged attack. Well, I mean... Six arms with guns akimbo sounds amazing, if I'm being honest. If I had... Uh, if I could get some more metamorphic polygel, then we could have, like, six arc winders? Is that right? Or is it just... Uh, I guess not, actually, because it looks like the... Well, actually, um, it looks like I only get two missile weapons, even though I have four hands. I guess this is a, there is a mod that uh, lets you have multiple missile weapons when you have multiple uh, arms. Uh, I feel like maybe the devs of Cud felt like that if you could put a, a gun in every single hand, then the mutation would just be overpowered, which I can understand. If you can wield four pistols and use guns akimbo to fire with all of them at once, that's that's kind of absurd damage output. All right, we're almost done with this zone, and I'm pretty sure we're almost done with this bottom layer of Parasang. It's gonna really suck if I get all the way to you know if I explore every single swamp zone and uh, miss it. I guess I could encourage you, the viewer, if there's a very small chance that I missed it and you spot it, tell you what, I'll, I'll put a bounty on it. Maybe I could uh, do a giveaway. If you happen to spot the shiny cyan glow pad before I do, then, uh, then I don't know, I'll give you a $20 Steam gift card or something. Let's do that. Now, now the stakes are, are really high. Um, are we in the... Yeah, we're in the Desert Canyon. Okay. So if I go up, does that mean um, I'm in the next Parasang? Too famished, right? I haven't found any points of interest. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to start on this one, and then uh, we'll go to the bottom right of this corner Parasang, and then that'll be in the next episode. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for joining me, um, for the grand return of Caves of Good Bounty Hunter series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And thank you very much to the, uh, the coffee subscribers that are helping to support the channel. Really appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.